The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. All right, back on the Domino's Post Game Report, Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ashley Ingram as the Eagles roll to a 56-25 win over West Virginia State. Ashley, let's uh, a lot to break down in this one. First and foremost, you played this game kind of under a cloud. Uh, West Virginia State had a player pass away, could lead to a lot of emotions. Seemed like from afar uh, you handled the delay, the postponement well. Uh, do you feel the same way? I think so. I, I give um, I give them a lot of credit. I, you know, West Virginia State. I give our team a lot of credit for controlling their emotions. Obviously, you know, both teams lost a young man that they were close to. You know, tragically. Um, yeah. So I, I think that part of it, and obviously we're going to play Thursday night and end up playing Friday afternoon. That part of it, uh, I thought we handled well. Uh, 56 points. First time Carson Newman scored 50 plus in back to back weeks since 2019. 2 and 0 for the first time since 2017. A lot of good, but it felt like the door left open for state in parts. Uh, how do you take with the good with the bad in this one? Well, I think with um, everything that happened, obviously we're super excited to win. Yeah. We're super, we're super excited to play well in most spots. Um, but as I told the guy, a lot of times you you're not really pay, playing your opponent. You're you're kind of playing against yourself. And you know we had five balls on the ground today. You know we fumbled a punt. We had an extra point blocked. So there were some um, instances where you know we could have done a lot better. Which I think is the encouraging thing that yeah. we can come on the road <laughs> and have some adversity and play well, and then still know there's a lot of room for improvement. Yeah, it's the first half where you scored. Uh, five out of six times you touched the football, did miss a field goal there at the end, but uh, or controlled the clock. Uh, got a lot of guys involved for a second straight week. Uh, really, outside of Trey's two uh, touchdown sneaks, uh, no multiple scores. How do you break down what the offense did well today? Uh, I, th I think uh, the, the other thing is we just hadn't seen this defensive front yet, and we adjusted to it, and, um, and actually, Part of what they did, we have not even, we have not even practiced. Now I've seen mm. it before, and our coaches yeah. have seen it before. We had not practiced that with our players, but for our guys to be able to adjust, to be able to score, like I said, 56 points, to be able to get a lot of guys in the game, I think we'll just continue to get better. Uh, so it was encouraging for sure. Uh, wrote first road game as a head coach. Everything else included in that in the university. How did that go? Uh, zero issues. And uh, Edgar Weiser, who coaches our wide receivers, is our assistant head coach. He handles our travel, and he's just he's on point, and uh, he's as good as you get. And then he didn't bat an eye with the you know the game changing. Uh, you know, by the time I asked him questions, he had already found the answer. So everything went great. Uh, uh, Don Bradley goes for 100 yards on the ground. Cam Ferguson gets close to that mark. What did those two do so well? Uh, your two slot backs today. Well, they're both really good players. And then you look at Cam return to. A kickoff yeah. for a touchdown as well. So both are really good players. Uh, both are smart. Both are savvy. Uh, yeah, kind of what we expect from them, honestly. Uh, the defense, and part of this peculiarly is because West Virginia State had a drive where they snapped eight plays inside the five. Was it eight? It was I eight. I thought it was ten. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the two pass interference penalties technically do not count as plays. Okay. But as a consequence, high tackle for loss numbers. Right. Felt like you were in the backfield a lot. Joel Felder came into this game fifth in the country in all-purpose yards. He finished with 22 yards uh, rushing today. What did you do to bottle him up? I thought our defense played great. Uh, you know, you, again, same thing on defense. You take away two or three plays, I mean, it was really a dominant yeah. performance. You know, a play right at the end of half. Uh, he did make a play in the pass game that was a great play that yeah. he caught the ball and broke a tackle and scored. I thought they played great. Uh, we were well prepared, uh, as always. And uh, I think the other thing that's showing is, you know, the way we practice, the conditioning aspect of oh, it. Yes. We haven't laid on the ground yet with a cramp that I, that I can think of, you know, in two games. I've done a handful of triple option games in my career and a handful of games where two teams run the ball a lot. Uh, it says a lot that this game took longer than three hours and 15 minutes to play, primarily right. due to the, the cramping, but it was one-sided cramping right. primarily on West Virginia State. Uh, you get a little bit of a break before South Atlantic Conference play begins against Wingate, not as much as you anticipated right. at the start. Uh, what is there to do to get ready for a Bulldog team that has one of the best defenses in the country? Uh, well, we just got to get better. And, you know, I've, I've watched them play and I've watched some of our future opponents' early season games. And I told the guys that, you know, we don't want to look ahead, but they may be as good a 
you know, team as we're going to see. Uh, obviously, there'll be some other really good yeah. teams on our schedule, but they just, they're well coached. Uh, I know that Coach Jordan just took over this year, but it's really a continuation of Coach Reich's staff. Uh, they've been there a long time. They're well coached. They've got very good players, so it'll, it'll certainly be a challenge. All right, Ashley, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you. That's Carson Newman head football coach Ashley Ingram back with more on the Domino's postgame report after this on the Eagle Sports Network.